Hey everybody, happy silly sunglasses day. We are so excited to see all your different type of sunglasses. Pepper's like, thank you for finally taking those off. But today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. And if today is Thursday, that means yesterday was Wednesday. And if today is Thursday, tomorrow will be... What day will it be? Friday. It's our favorite day, Friday. And tomorrow is kind of like our half day. It was supposed to be a half day when we were at school because spring break starts. And these are my favorite spring break sunglasses. They're perfect for the beach. They give me great suntan lines. <laughs> um, yesterday I forgot to talk about what was super important about yesterday. It was the start of a new month. We went from March to April. And I am so sorry I forgot to tell you about that. Some of y'all might have had some pranks played on you because yesterday was also April Fool's Day. And I saw some silly pranks, especially in the Verbeck family. Cal's mom played a funny, funny prank on him, and it was about getting brownies for breakfast. And I said, brownies. It was because there was brown ease in a bowl for him to eat. It was so silly. So if you had a prank on you, tell me about it. I can't wait to hear all about it. All right, let's talk about what we have going on for today. For our morning work, I have a spring is here word search. Pepper. She's upset because I stole her sunglasses. So what you're going to be doing is just find the spring words in your word search. Super simple. Then we also have our handwriting, which I totally forgot to grab again. But I have it right here. I want you to look outside your window and see what the weather is supposed to be today. Yesterday, your pointer should have been on sunny. So let's see what it is today. Go figure out what it might be today. And then put your error on it and then write what the weather is like today. So you need to go find, not Monday, not Tuesday, not Wednesday, but Thursday and write today's weather is blank. Fill in the blanks. Then for some language arts, I have this cool little flying, or it says flying high, and there's a poem about a kite. And so I think you can read this, but I'll read it first. And then I want you to try to read it on your own when you do this sheet. It says, I have a new kite. My kite is red and white. It has a long tail. The wind makes it fly. I like to fly my kite high. And so after you read this, and you can read it with your parents, you can read it too, you should read, be able to read pretty much all those words. Then you're going to answer these questions based on that poem. So you can go back to it and read it again as many times as you need to think to figure out what these answers are. And then you are going to draw your kite flying in the sky. So you get to color a picture of it in the sky after you're done. But when you're writing your answer to this, make sure you write the, the answer nice and neat. And so it's very legible. That means I can tell what each letter is. And it's not just giant letters on these lined lines for me. Then for math, I have odd and even and this is just like the paper we did earlier in the week but pay attention to the two numbers that we're starting with it says 24 and 31 so these are going to be bigger numbers they're not just they're not just the first like teen numbers it's bigger numbers they're in the 40s the, there's even triple digits so in the hundreds and you're going to sort between odd and even okay a good way you can figure out your odd and even numbers is you can take one of your hundreds charts you've worked on and check over it, make sure your numbers are right, and then go and you can highlight the even numbers so you will know your odd and evens or count by twos. Then you can always refer to this, to your hundred chart to do your odd and even work. That might be a fun activity too to try. 
Then I have a seesaw activity for you, and it is the sight word um, activity where it's the five different ways to practice all. So I know last week we kind of had some trouble. If you're having trouble with it, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal if it's not working at home. But if it works for you, try it out. See if you can do your best. It's just for practice, and I understand things happen, especially with computers or tablets or phones. It is what it is, but I just want to see if you can do it. And then make sure you write your last or your second to last sentence for all. And then keep on practicing your numbers, writing to 100, writing to 120 if you want an extra challenge. Or you can even go to my playlist on YouTube and I hope to start uploading some more videos. I got to go look for some more that I really like. And then um, tell me more about your book reports and keep on going with those. I've been hearing about them when I'm doing my Doc See Me, so I would love if I'm up. I think I'll be up tomorrow, Friday, and you can t I can help you with your book report if you would like. And then today we're going to be on Zoom again, and I cannot wait. We're gonna I'm going to get it up and going around 10 a.m., and that's when I will send out an email with the link. Hopefully I'll put more information. I know like sometimes it might be easier if I just send like the ID. So I got to figure out if I can find that for parents. But I'll send it through Seesaw and an email to invite people. And then I will hopefully be putting up, um, if I haven't already added, I, I've got to figure out the music video. We're having trouble getting her special video. But hopefully it will be up soon. But I hope everybody has a wonderful Thursday, and I can't wait to see y'all soon on Zoom. See y'all later. Oh, and side note, before I get off, go find something for our Zoom. We're going to do show and tell first, and then we'll start, and then I'll be reading a couple stories this morning. So, can't wait to see y'all. Bye.